Oh boy, we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. Once again, it's me, Jake Baldino, and we're talking about Ancestors, Humankind Odyssey. Like I said, there's a lot of games coming out right now. There's a lot to talk about. The Humankind Odyssey, this is really an incredibly unique game. I'll start with that. It's out now on PC, and apparently it drops on consoles before the end of the year in December. It's turned heads because it's behind one of the original minds behind Assassin's Creed, Patri de Soleil. Now, this is a very different game. It's not just Assassin's Creed, but in prehistoric times, and instead of climbing buildings, you climb trees. Like a lot of people were kind of thinking it would be, this is a survival game but it's actually completely unlike any other. And that part about it, I absolutely like. I, I think I love. But this game is more immense than you would imagine. It also has some massively weird stuff I just didn't jive with. Now I've had this game for about two weeks thanks to being sent a review copy and you probably glanced over reviews by now and saw a lot of reviews just didn't get it or just couldn't crack the code because the game doesn't tell you anything at all. It even says it in the intro, like when the game starts up, it says, hey, good luck, we're not really gonna tell you anything. Uh, th but I think that's the point, that's what they're going for here. The game is set up to completely toss you into the early human perspective. What do you do? Do you explore? Do you find food? Do you drink? What can you eat? Uh, how do you deal with predators? What do you do? What happens if you bang two rocks together? All of this is in there, it's in the game, but it's up to you to slowly figure out and decode for yourself. Just like the early humans did themselves. Nobody told them how to do anything. What's supposed to make it fun though, is that you already know what happens, kind of. So you have an easier time because you already know you can crack a coconut open with a rock or use a branch from a tree to defend yourself, stuff like that. They had to figure that out. It's all about unraveling it yourself. You know, those, oh shit, oh my God, I figured it out moments. Those aha moments are the best parts of the game. There's still more to discover too. The game has a lot of possibilities and combinations with the environment and items that I, I think a community will take off with this game once people figure out what, you know, say this rock does with this plant or, or what this thing does with this. Uh, being on my own playing the game for review with like no guide or anything, I had a lot of fun discovering stuff on my own. But I think it's gonna be even more fun to see this game grow even more. But unfortunately, the rest of the core of it is pretty repetitive slow, grindy, and tedious without much payoff. Like, I give it tons and tons of points for being insanely new and weird and different. I can't stop thinking about this game, but it's still rough and the fun is hard to find. I'm starting to think it's a failed experiment, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Anyway, what it is, there, there are a lot of mechanics in place, but like, here's the gist. You start out as an early ape with a small group of others millions and millions and millions of years ago. You have a small little home and it's up to you to venture out and discover things. So stray too far in the jungle, the screen gets all scary, like to illustrate that your ape is afraid of the unknown. So then you spend time in that environment and use your detective vision modes of sight, hearing, and smell to scan and identify stuff in the environment and get used to an area and just expand your territory. Uh, there are also points of interest that you can push further for even more bonuses. And these, by bonuses, I mean like having a child accompany you like on your back will help you essentially get more points for leveling up. You know, discover a new plant that is safe to eat, uh, just find a new rock type, or you know, encounter and run from a new predator. And basically everything else you do contributes to you being able to unlock and learn more. You have essentially a skill tree and you earn neurons, which you can dump into different branches to unlock stuff like identify plants from further away, uh, say a new way to use your hands, hold two things at once, uh, longer windows for dodging predators and more. These need to be locked in though if you want to progress to a new generation and fast forward. So each child you birth and have in your clan allows you to lock in some stuff you have learned. Other mutations will happen naturally, like say you have a new child that you breed, they can essentially be born with a random mutation of say having a better probability to withstand eating a certain type of plant, developing certain immunities, etc., stuff like that. So then do that, progress a generation, you'll find yourself years later with uh, the normal apes now, elder apes, and the babies have grown to adults. And you can do that over and over again, but it's up to you to, you know, every time develop a bond, a breed, have more babies, and explore and learn more. Eventually, you can cash in all of your achievements, like what you have discovered, and how many times, say, you know, make a sharp stick five times, to progress the timeline millions of years in evolution. 
the game also does the math with modern science and holds it up to see if you're advancing quicker or slower than actual history from what we know. After that, you'll be able to start off fresh with a new clan and a new section of the environment, which the environments absolutely seem massive, like insanely massive, by the way, uh, but then you go from there. The idea is to eventually keep this loop going, keep grinding out learning and progressing to eventually become a fully upright walking early ape man thing. Uh, at least that's what the trailer suggested, uh, but I've put hours and hours and hours into this game even after I really started to not be as happy with it just to see if I could break through and figure out that one last thing that pushes me further into a new sequence of the game where things change up. But even after grinding out and progressing millions of years, it just felt way too long and unsatisfying and my ape was barely walking upright. The progression is brutal. I can see the light at the end of the evolution branch tunnel, but the game loses its luster before then and that's a bummer. It even feels like the game doesn't want you to get there. Not in a way like where it's like difficulty, like it just feels like the game doesn't care. Now you might hear that type of stuff and immediately go, oh okay, well that's because you suck, reviewer person, and you just couldn't figure it out. And you might be right, I don't know, but I, I've seen a lot of stuff. I've journeyed really far across the map with the slow movement speed. It takes forever. Uh, I've dodged and killed multiple predators. I've crafted sharp rocks to make an improved sharpened stick. I've kicked some ass. I've applied the right plants to buff myself and heal wounds. I've figured out tons and gotten so far in my little monkey's journeys and gotten over the huge, huge difficulty curve, you know, the learning curve, and still I feel like I just have nothing to show for it. This makes the game feel like an endless grind. Even though I've had the great payoff moments of learning something new or stumbling across something surprising, that still just didn't quite feel worth it for me, like worth the journey. Especially because the core isn't too fun. I will say, climbing and swinging through trees is absolutely exhilarating. It feels like well designed and one of the better mechanics at a game, but like when you're on the ground and facing off against animals and doing stuff like that, it's just not that fun. It's all about a timed button press that takes a bit of time to get used to, but when you finally can effortlessly pull off a dodge or a nice counter attack, it all feels useless. It's simple and unfun because the first time you fend off an attacker, it's exhilarating. The hunt, the stalk, the surprise, your successful reaction, the music swells, the ape screams triumphantly, but then you do it a thousand more times and you have to see the same thing over and over again. And that's every time you have a child or progress a generation or even evolve into a new era. Uh, it, it, you just see the same cutscenes over and over again and you can't skip a lot of them. And after a while, after watching the 50th time I had a child since it's necessary to grinding out and I have to sit through the cutscene of the child being born, I'm just sitting here like going, what am I doing here? Why am I grinding through this? Especially like if your whole clan dies, a lot of it feels like a big waste, especially if you've been grinding for hours and hours. It's a shame that the good moments here really lose their luster. It's still more interesting than your average survival game. Like I, I don't play a lot of them. I'm not the biggest fans of them. This one's unique and weird and different. That's why I put so much time into it, especially that. And it's beautiful. The music is very memorable. The apes act and animate and sound convincing. And the scenery is so vast and detailed. It looks pretty killer on PC, especially at certain times during the day and night cycle. All of the sound design is great actually. And although I wanna point out if you're hard of hearing, some of the smaller contextual actions like properly breaking a stick require distinct, very quiet audio timing cues that you have to listen for until you upgrade it. So keep that in mind. Ultimately, I wanna freaking love this game. It's one of the few survival games that has ever appealed to me just because it's so damn different and tries something absolutely insanely ambitious. The problem is, I just didn't have too much fun with it. And by the time I figured out a lot of the game, it felt like a chore to play. I'm curious again to see what the gaming community thinks and makes of it because it's really up to your own brain. The act of figuring stuff out was really fun. I just wish the rest of the game was. But again, I still think about it even when I'm not playing it. Just something about it. It's hard to put my finger on, but it is appealing. If you're still up in the air, it's hard to get across what this game is. I'd say take the time, man, and watch a Let's Play. Don't watch a video for like 10 minutes. I'm saying like watch for an hour and see what the game really is. And that might help honestly inform you a little bit more into like what you're getting into, what the loop is. But that's a before you buy. I give you some pros, some cons, and some personal opinion. And now I wanna hear yours down in the comments. There's a lot to unpack about this one, especially you know now, once the main public gets their hands on it, I'm sure it'll be more interesting. But uh, anything else you got for me, if you got any questions, I, I get it, it's confusing, hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino. I'm there for you. 
But if you enjoyed this video and maybe I helped you out a little bit, maybe informed your purchase, clicking the like button is the best way you can help us out. We'd really appreciate that. And if you're new, it's worth considering subscribing and hitting that notification bell because we put out videos every single day and we have tons more before you buy videos planned. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs>